While on a peaceful mission to Okoma community in Boma, the local government area of Delta State, the amphibious battalion were surrounded by the community youth and killed on Thursday. The unfortunate incident occurred when the troop responded to a distress call after the communal crisis between Okoma and Okoloba communities, both in Delta State. The reinforcement team, led by the commanding officer, was also attacked, leading to the death of the commanding officer, two majors, one captain, and 12 soldiers. The chief of defense staff, General Christopher Waban Musa, has directed the immediate investigation and arrest of those involved in the heinous crime. The occurrence has been reported to the Delta state government. The heinous crime sparked reaction from different Nigerians. Here is what the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, put out a statement from the Nigerian president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. On Saturday morning, the Nigerian people and I woke up to the dreadful news on the unprovoking killing of our brave military personnel during a rescue mission in Okoma community in Ugili South local government area of Delta State. The incident occurred on Thursday, March 14, 2024, when our troops responding to a crisis between Okoma and Oklobia community in Delta State were ambushed. A commanding officer, two majors, one captain, and 12 soldiers sadly lost their lives. One civilian was also killed. As the commander-in-chief, I joined all well-meaning Nigerians and the men and women of our armed force to mourn and express my profound grief over the needless death of our gallant soldiers. I extend my profound condolences to the families of these fallen soldiers, their colleagues, and their loved ones. The military high command is already responding to this incident. The incidents once again demonstrate the dangers faced by our servicemen and women in the line of duty. I salute their heroism, courage, and uncommon grit and patriotism. As a nation, we must constantly remember and honor all those who have paid the ultimate price to keep our nation safe strong. The officers and men who died in the Okoma community have joined the pantheon of great men and women who gave their all with honor in the service of our fatherland. Members of the armed force are at the heart and core of our nationhood. Any attack on them is a direct attack on our nation. We will not accept the wicked act. The defense headquarters and chief defense staff have been granted full authority to bring to justice anybody found to have been responsible for this unconscionable crime against the Nigerian people. My government will not relent until we achieve peace and tranquility in every part of Nigeria. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and keep members of our armed forces safe. By Bala Ahmed Tinubu, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As it is safe to say that after what happened and the thorough investigations that were done by the Nigerian army and all the forces responsible to carry out the investigation. It is safe to say that yes, some people have been held accountable, some people have been held accountable, but as it seems now, they are all at large. None of them have been captured, but the Nigerian army are pleading with the Nigerians. Home and abroad, from all parts of Nigeria that you are, be on the lookout for these pictures. I put, I'll be putting the pictures of the corporate that the nigerian armies are looking for if you are or if you come across any of these help the nigerian army bring these people to justice on the 27th of march a memorial service was carried out for the slain army forces so on the next slide i will put in pictures from the memorial service
From the bottom of my heart, we say rest in peace to our fallen heroes and to the perpetrators of this act. I hope you guys are brought to justice. Rest in peace to our fallen heroes. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.